Hello Sadie, welcome to your reading with me. Thank you for all joining me here today and um, I hope you've been really well. Welcome to all the new subscribers, it's been loads. Thanks so much guys for clicking the subscribe button. Make sure you do if you haven't already. Oh, quite a heavy energy as usual <laughs> right now I've been picking up. So, wow guys, right. We have the Three of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Nine of Wands. So I'm going to go through these cards first. So um, quite a lot of sword energy. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could be one of those signs yourselves. Uh, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Aries, uh, Sagittarius, or you could be that yourself or have that somewhere in your chart. But we've obviously got a lot of swords energy here so far. Now, um, there, you know, there's a lot of heartbreak in these connections at the moment. Um, I feel like both the DMs and DFs, a lot of you right now are just feeling so much heartache, um, completely kind of stuck, trapped right now surrounded kind of by negative energy i'm actually picking this up i'm picking that up more for the dms i've just been picking up for a while that a lot of them are feeling very trapped in whatever situations they're in right now um a lot of toxicity negativity around them but also i just feel like a lot of the dfs are um feeling just is literally like bound like unable to move forward um feeling stuck like they just can't, the situation's like not moving forward or oh, that's how it seems they are moving forward guys and i, I am channeling um that there's going to be a lot of communication coming in for a lot of people but at the moment, it sort of feels like nothing's happening and neither like the DMs or the DFs are able to see forward right now um, for a lot of you. Um, but, you know, it's like we're moving on to like a nine here. So <clears throat> eight, nine, kind of coming out of these cycles. You know, this person has been through a lot of shit, you know, and but it's like, you know, these these eight of wands are behind them. They're clinging on to this one wand here. So I really feel like it's it's a lot of the DMs like holding tightly onto this connection. Um, you're very anxious, obviously. Um, but but there's hope. You know what I mean? This is kind of I feel like kind of like quite a hopeful card. And the first card that came flying out was the, the Page of Pentacles. So definitely someone is wanting to come forward with a little message. Could be an offer. But, you know, and you, you could, this is Earth energy as well, by the way. Um, but the Page of Pentacles is probably like the most sincere page as well. So it's a little like offer, a little, because I mean, guys, look how sort of worried and anxious this little face is you know it's it's i feel like the dms a lot of them like wanting to come forward really kind of nervous about it <clears throat> and nervous about how you're going to react to them you know a lot of dfs have gone through quite a lot of shit from from the dms too so they're really wanting to come forward and heal this heartbreak that's been going on and and yeah, just a little message. Um could be a text, a call, you know, like do you wanna go for a coffee type thing? Um just a little kind of olive branch I'm picking up. They're they're wanting to come forward and, and speak, you know? So we'll see what else we get, but yeah, a, a lot of kind of heavy, um, anxious 
energy in this group of the collective I'm channeling for. <clears throat> ah, yeah. I honestly, so we've got the Two of Pentacles and the Magician. And I've been picking this up. Oh, whoa. <laughs> the Magician's wanting to fly towards you. I really feel like they, that is them wanting to like come leap forward with uh, some sort of like communication or, you know, um, offer, just wanting to like run towards you. But um, I feel like a lot of the DMs have been trying to manifest their way out of this like heartbreak and, and stuck sort of feeling. Um, they're, they're trying to manifest healing the connection between you guys. Um, obviously we have the infinity sign here and I just feel like the, a lot of them have realized that their love for you is infinite. You know, it's like so strong and um, really wanting to come out of whatever situations are in just now. Um, they're wanting to manifest um, a better relationship with you, I'm getting. Um, and they're kind of tired of juggling whatever they've been juggling, I'm feeling. Um, because it's only bringing them more like heartbreak. Um, Yeah, I just feel like, I just always pick up from this card as well that, you know, there's been a lot of choppy waters between these connections, you know, but it's like behind now. I feel like in a lot of cases, the worst is behind you guys, you know? And this is like a more positive, like, transformation. Uh, the magician for me as well could also be like a, public figure type person so um you could be dealing with someone in the public eye or you yourself could be in the public eye um yeah i always feel like that but there's 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 truth wanting to come forward here Okay, so what else is going on in these connections at the moment? What's what's happening with the DMs, the DFs I'm reading for? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Again, obviously, I've been saying about... We've got the Knight of Swords here. So, yeah, more Swords energy. So, definitely... You could be dealing with an air sign or are an air sign, but um, pff, truthful communication, like uh, very, what's the word I'm looking for? Direct communication, wanting to come forward. This is like someone wanting to take action towards you, you know, and speak some truth. Um, so they're wanting to come flying in here <laughs> with some sort of communication and action. Um, it's kind of like, you know, they've worked their, their way up from a page to a night. So they're kind of like getting stronger and picking up, getting stronger in this situation. But I mean, guys, we've got the sun card, as you all probably know, the most positive card in the deck. So well, the outcome of this like communication is going to be very positive. Um, you could be dealing with a, a Leo as well. You could be a Leo yourself, but just a lot of happiness is, is going to come out from these like conversations happening between you guys. Um, I always pick up the little kids here as well. Like, uh, you know, they, they definitely could be thinking about even having children with you or you with them um or maybe 
you're going to have some families uh, like coming together um, in this situation. But yeah, I mean, the sun is shining over the connections that I'm reading for today. So um, I'm going to get um, a few cards. Let's just find out. Um, I mostly really have DFs watching, so let's find out what is in the heart space for the DMs towards the DFs right now. Like, what, what are in these, the DFs, sorry, the DMs that I'm tuning in for here. Let's find out what is in their heart space towards the DFs. Oh my god well the first card i'm looking at the lover so guys i i've said this before but they have so much love for you they really it's so strong in their heart just now i mean we couldn't really get much of a better card for what's in their heart space so it's like if i know this is gemini energy as well um but if a soul bond you know a really strong connection they just fucking love you. I don't really know what else to say. You know what I mean? It's so strong as well. Like, you know, it's, it's like a, this is a twin flame card for me as well. So just further confirmation. And I feel like a lot of them are really starting to, to know what twin flames are and that you're their actual twin flame. I just feel like a lot of them have been looking into the term and, and literally maybe even looking at tarot readings as well but it's so strong and this is you know it's like a fated destined type connection what other cards have we got here yes yeah, strength strength and the king of pentacles so uh, again you could be dealing with a leo or you yourself could be a leo i mean we've got the infinity sign again here so it's just yeah further confirmation of these connections but they're really just <clears throat> needing, they're getting the strength to come forward and like kind of mend these connections. Um, I always think, you know, it just feels like the DFs have kind of tamed the beast within them. So they, a lot of the DMs that you're dealing with could have been quite kind of reckless and a bit wild in the past, bit of a player energy, but it's like they're calming down from that and they're literally like, choosing you you know you're like their one wand out of many um yeah king of pentacles so this is the energy so we finally got some you know like a king on this red here they are they're wanting to be the stable kind of wealthy man you know what well, Obviously, your DMs could be a, a female, but, you know, masculine energy is what I'm meaning. But they're wanting to be this stable, um, abundant person for you. They're, they're really working on their money and career right now, guys. Um, and it's because they want to bring that to you. You know, they, they want to have this abundance for you and have these really prosperous connections um i mean yeah guys like the lovers and the and the sun as well I and mean, even in like the lovers card the sun is like shining over i just feel like there's a lot of positivity to come with a lot of these connections um some of you might feel a little bit hopeless just now but I'm seeing a lot of positivity here and just be careful in what you can in your thoughts as well because you know what what you think about you bring about type thing and manifestation is really it's a really powerful thing so you know just just try not to to kind of have doubts negative thoughts that type of thing you know what you think about you bring about so um right i might see let me just think 
Yeah, I think we've kind of got, I was going to do what action they're going to take towards you, but I think it's quite clear, you know, with the Knight of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. They're wanting to like swiftly come in and speak a lot of truth and, and, and give you some sort of like offer, some kind of peace offering is what I'm picking up. So let's get a few, let's get some angel guidance here, some angel oracle cards and just see what we get for for whoever uh, <laughs> is watching the reading today, who I'm tuning in for. Let's get some angel guidance, please. Yeah, it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So yeah, I mean, a lot of DMs as well and DIFs have, have been really kind of heart and let down um, in the past with, with these connections, but it is safe to open your heart up, guys. I just feel like, you know, a lot of this kind of heartbreak, like I was saying, is like behind, behind a lot of you now, you know? I mean, not that everything's going to be perfect in the future, but I just really feel like the worst is kind of in the past and just keep your heart open, you know? I know that's really difficult, especially when you feel like you've been screwed over like again and again. Some some people have had that. But it really is, you know, safe to, safe to stay open to these connections. Okay, these two really wanted to come out. Uh, retreat and deception. So with the deception, I feel like, that could even be, you know, some DS telling themselves like, oh, this will never happen for me and, and that type of thing. Just kind of like lying to yourself, sort of like a self-preservation thing, you know, to like protect yourself. But, um, you know, and a lot of the DMs kind of lie to themselves like, oh, no, it's not really, I don't know, it's not going to work and... And then they, they go into these like karmic situations and relationships and um, a lot of them, a lot of the DMs are surrounded by quite like a lot of deception too. Um, a lot of them kind of get into the types of relationships where people are wearing a mask because they just want them for whatever reason. And normally it's to do with like money and status and things like that like gaining something from the dms but see a lot of dms think that you know their their karmic person that they they might run off to they think that when they, they start to see them change you know they start to kind of see they think they're changing as a person but what it is is the mask is slipping for a lot of these karmic partners, you know, it's like they never were the person the DMs thought they were. They were just wearing a mask and the mask eventually, you know, starts to slip and they kind of see the true person and what their true motives were. Um, yeah, and retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. So I just feel A lot of these connections, um, A, the DMs want to spend time with you, but B, I just feel like there's a lot of outside influence around these connections. Um, so it, try not to focus, you know, if you've got like family members or something or people on social media just kind of talking shit about the connections, like try to just kind of um, block those out, you know, not not let those influence you because you know what's going on with your person, you know? And that kind of ties in with the deception as well. And you might see a lot of things on social media, for instance, that are just fake, you know? Um, and maybe 
just make you feel bad about the situation, you know? But, like, guys, everyone knows most things posted on social media are just not even the truth whatsoever, so... Um, but, yeah, it is safe for you to love, so... And I think we're going to end the reading with some eternal messages. Let's just see what's on the DM's mind. What are they thinking that they're maybe not saying to you right now? What are they going through? Okay, so I've been thinking about proposing to you. So I've been getting that for quite a lot of people. And even in the lovers here, that can be, you know, like a higher form of commitment as well. Um, that literally, you know, could even be the, like, the little gift they want to come in with. If you're that far along with the connection, you could be moving on to that. Um, I really hate not communicating as much as I want to. So I, I've been getting this card out so much recently and speaks for itself really. But um, they're just so wanting to speak to you. It's just a lot of kind of shit that they're dealing with right now and the way their their mind is with a lot of like anxiety and depression and just a lot of stuff to deal with right now it, it just it, it makes them kind of <laughs> retreat from the world you know it, it makes them kind of go into like hermit modes and that's why a lot of them go quiet you know it's it's not that they don't want to speak to you at all they just find it really difficult um, you gave me that spark. So, you know, you kind of ignited this, like, <laughs> passion within them and, and, like, true love, you know? I just feel like the lover's card today is so significant. Um, most of them haven't really experienced true kind of love before, um... They've had a lot of like toxic relationships, been put down a lot in the past. And then, you know, you came along and they were like, oh my God, like, <laughs> this is what it's like to actually be treated well and, and loved for who they are and, and not what they can kind of give, provide for someone, you know. I'm severing ties with the karmic partner. So yeah, I guess. This could be getting rid of, like, the third-party situation. Um, yeah, if, if any of you guys, if you're, if you're persons with a karmic partner right now, it's looking like they're going to be coming out of that situation soon. Um, yeah. A lot of them are kind of waking up to the fact that this is so funny, I was just going to say that they're not happy. <laughs> and I've just looked at the last card that came out there. I act happy, but I'm not. Yeah. It's 100%. A lot of DMs are just not happy. And despite what they post on social media, and if they are with, like, um, a, another partner right now, they're not happy. Um, 100%. They're not happy. Um... And that's why this kind of like energy is around. That's that's really how they're feeling, despite what they might post or whatever. Um, that's kind of how they're feeling. Um, but a lot of them don't want to. They don't want to admit that, you know. They don't want to look stupid. Obviously, a lot of masculines have a lot of pride, and they don't want to admit that they've fucked up, basically. <laughs> And like chosen wrong, um, they they just put up this front. So, guys, 
I'm gonna end the reading there. I hope that has given people a little insight on what's going on. I hope it resonated in your situation.